Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to some international test papers. Now, this is a pure mathematics, advanced mathematics test paper of 2018 of Cambridge International, which we are going to uh, solve. Question number here is based on partial factoring and derivatives. The question is, 1 plus 11x minus 6x squared divided by x minus 3 times 1 minus 2x is equal to a plus b over x minus 3 plus c over 1 minus 2x. Find the values of constants a, b, and c. Then we are given the same function for x greater than 0 and we need to prove that f of x is decreasing function. You can always pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. Now, to find the constants a, b, and c, we'll basically write, we'll just uh, cross multiply and then rewrite this particular equation. So we have here 1 plus 11x minus 6x squared is equal to a times both these factors, right? which are x minus 3 times 1 minus 2x plus b times. So when you multiply these two factors, x minus 3 gets cancelled. So you get 1 minus 2x here plus c times x minus 3, correct? Now to find the values of a, b, and c, what the technique is that we can substitute x equals to 3 this will be 0, that will be 0, we can find b. And if I substitute x equals to half, we can eliminate b and a find c, All right? So, uh, so that's what we are going to do. So first substitution, let's put x equals to 3. Now in that case, the value of uh, 1 plus 11x minus 3x squared will be what? So let's calculate this, right? So what we'll get here is 1 plus 11 times 3 minus 6 times 3 squared will be equal to, we'll calculate this. So when you put 3, this term is 0, that term is 0, we get b minus, we get this term, right? So we get b times 1 minus 2 times 3, which is 6. Correct. Now, we can solve this equation and find the value of b. So, what we have here is 1 plus 11 times 3 minus 6 times 3 squared is 9. So, that is minus 20. So, we get minus 20 equals to 1 minus 6 is minus 5b or from here we get the value of b as minus 20 divided by minus 5 and that gives you 4. So we get b. Now let's find the value of uh, c. We'll substitute x equals to half so that term will cancel. So now let's do x equals to half. In that case, what we get here is 1 plus 11 by 2 minus 6 by 4 is equal to that. These two terms become 0. We get C half minus 3, correct? So let's calculate what C is. So we have 1 plus 11 by 2 minus 6 divided by 4 and that gives you 5. So what we have here is 5 equals to half minus, so you get the 0.5 minus 3 which is minus 5 by 2. So you get minus 5 by 2c, correct? So from here we can get what c is. So 5, which is a negative, times 2 over 5 is equal to c that gives you the value of c as negative 2 right so we got b and c now to find the value of a we know b and c will substitute some value of x let it be 0 
So we will now substitute x equals to 0 in our equation and see what do we get. So we get 1 on the left side. So that will give us 1 equals to 0 gives us minus this is minus 3a where you put 0 here you get b times 1 so let me write here plus b and here we get minus 3c right minus 3c now so that gives we know b and c values right so we get here 1 equals 2 let me push the page a bit okay minus 3a the value of b is 4 plus 4 minus 3 times minus 2 makes it uh, plus 6 okay. so that is 10 so we get the value of a as a uh, We'll take it on this side. So that gives us a, a minus 10 plus 1 equals to minus 3a. And that gives you the value of a as equal to, this is a minus 9. So a equals to 3. Okay. So we get our expression for all the values now. So we can write down what the right side is. So a is 3. So what we basically found was that the value of a came out to be 3 for b it was 4 and for c it was negative 2 correct so we can rewrite the given rational function as equal to 3 plus 4 over x minus 3 minus 2 over 1 minus 2x clear so that is how you could write this and those are the values for a, b and c. Of course it has restrictions that x cannot be 3 and x cannot be half. Now we will do part 2 which is we need to show that all this, this function is decreasing and we are taking the interval when x is greater than 3, right? So, okay. So what we will do is we know this expression is basically equal to uh, we can write this as equal to 3 plus 4 times x minus 3 to the power of minus 1, right? And here we can write this as uh, plus 2 times, we can write this as 2x minus 1, correct? So 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 1. Now to show that this is decreasing, we need to find the derivative, correct? So let's do this here. So let me just copy the expression and then we'll find the derivative. So for part B, we have f of x as equal to 3 plus 4 times x minus 3 to the power of minus 1 plus 2 times 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 1. So the derivative of this function will be that is 0, so right? So this is minus 1. So we get uh, minus 4 times x minus 3 to the power of minus 2 and here we get minus 2 and 2 times 2 is 4 okay so we get 4 here uh, 2x minus 1 to the power of minus 2 which clearly shows we have minus uh, 4 over uh, x minus 3 whole square so this is a negative term and this is again another negative term minus 4 over we have a 2x minus 1 whole square. So both are negative terms and therefore we can clearly see that f dash x is less than 0. So that implies that f of x is decreasing. Is that clear right? So that is how we can prove it. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to share my videos and if you like and subscribe to them that'd be great now if you have any questions you can always email me on the address given here thanks for your time and all the best